Hey guys, it's Jason here. So as you saw by the title, we're doing another video on upgrading the Rustler. Um, you probably, if, you, if you're a subscriber, you watched the video where we did the green RPM arms. Um, since then, I did the green rod ends. They're just the RPM uh, Traxxas long rod ends. Um, those give it a really, really cool look. Plus, I've actually had issues, you know, over the years when, I, when I've been bashing, that I've actually had rod ends break on me. And every time I've ever switched them over to the RPM, um, that totally eliminates that. So I knew I kind of want to do those, and obviously being that they're green, that was just even that much better. But tonight's video, guys, what we're doing is we are upgrading to a set of 2.8 inch Badlands. Uh, these are the new ones that are on the raid rims. So if you haven't seen those yet, they are really cool because what they do is they allow, um, you actually change the hubs in them. They come with a short set and a long set. And what that allows you to do is that you're able to change your offset without having to worry about, you know, buying different rims type thing. So, tire comes like this. I don't see this big hole in the middle. And then inside comes the hubs. So, you get a long hub and a shorty hub. So now the cool thing about that is, is that you can either, you can mount up the shorty, mount up the shorty, and you know, your tire will be tucked in a bit. However, being that these are, like I'll see double short on camera, bigger and wider, so they're taller and wider than the stock ones, I have a feeling I'm going to be using this long offset, or the longer hub, to give basically kind of push the tire out a little bit so that it'll clear the body and allow for um, obviously you know prevent rubbing and all that other stuff so let's get to mounting these suckers up right guys what i'm going to do is like i was saying i'm going to mount up one with the long hub and then one with the shorty hub just to kind of we'll get an idea i'll be able to fit you know one of the one on one side one on the other and that way um i can just um, that's just for centering the hub. Um, that way we can kind of get an idea of what works and, and not so much what looks better, but basically what at the end of the day, um, you know, again, will just necessarily work better. Not going to worry about putting all the screws in just yet. Now one with the shorty hub. So we'll put, I guess, the shorty on this side, and we'll put the long one on the other side, and we'll get an idea of how it looks. Actually, you want to give us a bit to get an idea. So I'm going to show you guys this because I don't even know now if I'm going to bother trying to mount it the shorty one. You can see looking on the one side how much of the rod end is, is sticking out. And on this side, it's way tucked in, which means I'm not even going to waste my time trying to use the shorty hub because there's no way that's going to clear. So we're just going to go into the long one. And I don't know if that's, hopefully that's coming across on camera the way I want it to. It's just 
guys maybe like um i don't even know if it's a quarter of an inch a little bit of extra travel which i think or extra length which i think is going to be just perfect for this because like i said there is a little bit more tire there so no problems at all guys okay you know what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do the rest of the tires and i'm gonna get these mounted up and i'll show you in a bit how this looks so i thought i would stop here i've got the other one done um i just wanted to you know let you guys see the difference in the size of the tires um from these the badland 2.8s to just the stock tires um you know i was really worried you know because i did like the look of the, these low profiles on the truck and, and just the way it looked and I thought these would end up looking too big, but to be fair, I think they look awesome. And they're gonna, I have a feeling they're gonna do exactly what I want them to do. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the tires. All right, guys, I've gone ahead and finished off the four uh, tires and this thing, guys, looks so good. Um, I'm so happy with the way it came out. Um, you know, I was really kind of afraid when I was going with these that they were gonna look too big on the truck. Um, I've got the 38s on my Revo. I always find they look a little bit, not too big, but just they definitely look a lot bigger than stock. These to me look the way the truck should have came. Um, I'm gonna just take the truck outside just so we can get some better lighting and show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, there you have it. So the new tires are on and I am super happy. Um, I do have a 10 tooth pinion um, that I'm gonna be installing. Uh, these come with a 11 tooth uh, stock. So I might, just because the tires are that much bigger, drop it down a tooth. But um, what I wanted, there's a few things I wanna to touch on guys before this video ends. Um, I was mentioning earlier about what I was hoping to get out of these tires. What I'm hoping to get guys out of these tires is basically a bit of ballooning. Um, you know, there's this new trend in, in trucks and monster trucks and, you know, these type of trucks where, you know, everybody's going to such a low profile tire like these guys, which is great for high speed handling and all that kind of crap. But I, when I bought this truck, wanted more of like a mini e Revo. I wanted, you know, the fun of the Revo in the sense that I want something that's going to backflip and front flip and not have to struggle with it. Every video I've watched of these things on stock tires, trying to do the flips and stuff like that, they're just horrible. You just see the truck go up in the air. You can hear the, the people, you know, gun it as they leave the job. And it's like this slow motion flip that takes, you know, 20 feet to do one 360. I don't want that. I actually, one of the things I enjoy most in the hobby is jumping and stuff like that and flips and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping by going with the 2.8 that... One, I'm getting a little bit more mass. I'm getting, you know, the tires a little bit taller, which is going to help when you're braking or throttling um, for your flips. But you're also going to get some ballooning. And 
you know, believe it or not, guys, you want a little bit of ballooning. Everybody's always all against ballooning. Oh my God, ballooning so bad. But, you know, a little bit's not a bad thing. And it's going to help you if, you, like I said, you're aiming for the flips. You're going to gain that. So yeah, if you're doing high speed runs on pavement with an off-road truck, then yeah, you want the lower profile tires. And to me, that's a complete waste, but whatever. Do that. For me, I want that off-road fun. I want to be able to hit a jump and hopefully, you know, snap that throttle, snap the brake and do a flip and not take 20 feet to do it. Um, and or just a massive ramp at the same time to do it. So that's why, guys, I went with these tires. One thing else, guys, I want to point out is I've already showed you guys the hubs. The cool thing, guys, also about these hubs is that you get the the wide and the, the narrow like I showed you. But you can also go with uh, 17 millimeter hubs as well. You got to buy them separate. They don't come with the, the wheels and tires or with the wheels. But you can actually buy 17 millimeter hubs. So later on, if I decide, OK, hey, I want to go with the 17 mils, I can do it. And all I got to do is pull the screws out, put the 17 mil hub on. And just like that, I've got, um, I can run the adapters and I can run, uh, you know, the 17 mils, which is kind of cool. So besides from, you know, the only thing really ProLine kind of left, um, the only thing they didn't do was make them bead locks. If they had made them bead locks, then they would have just had all their basis covers because then you could do anything you want with them. But uh, yeah, guys, I am super happy. I can't wait to run this thing now. Um, the other thing, guys, I wanted to quickly touch on was... Um, you know, it's funny. I posted in the groups that, you know, I was going to 2.8s and a lot of few people have done it. And a lot of people, you know, kind of went on saying, oh, you know, you cannot run 2.8s on the VXL system, which I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat is malarkey. This system comes in Stampede 4x4s, um, Rustlers, um, Bandits, Slashes, um, tons of trucks. And I myself have built monster slash conversions off of this system with 2.8 with no problems, guys, whatsoever. You have to monitor your heat. So whether you, you know, bring out a temp gun, start running it around, you know, depending whether or not you're running 2S or 3S, run it around a bit and just, you know, randomly take your temps to see how things are behaving. Um, you know, you've got to do that. You've got to have a little, you know, you've got to, you know, spend a little bit of time and kind of invest the time if you're going to do when you start switching things up like this but this system guys will take it no problem um i do also have the cover coming the uh i think it's the dusty motors cover for it which is cool because at that point when i get that i can run fans and i don't have to worry about any crap getting in the fans either so because they're pretty high so they give you you know you're able to i could probably use the stock um or not the stock but the traxxas option fan and then i'll do some kind of a heat sink or heat sink fan on the motor but I don't really think, guys, I'll have too much of a problem. Um, you know, I don't go out on super hot days or anything like that to run it uh, when I run. So I should be okay there. But yeah, I just wanted guys to touch on that. This system, guys, will totally handle 2.8s. Um, you know, no problem at all. Like I said, you just, you know, you might have to just kind of monitor, you know, your temps, look into the gearing. Um, I'm already going to drop it one tooth. And uh, I'm excited to run it though. It's a little bit higher now. These tires are obviously gonna add a lot more grip. And like I said, the biggest thing guys for me is I'm hoping I'll be able to get those flips easier than how it was with the stock wheels and tires. Um, definitely stay tuned guys. I think my next thing is either going to be um, probably some T-bone racing parts. I think I'd like to beef up, you know, the front and the rear, like the bumpers for landings and stuff like that. Um, I even actually am considering, and I've never really liked them before, but the actual, the full kind of outer cage that they have for the body. Um, I use, I, I don't usually like that when I see it on most vehicles, but you know, the look that I'm going to go for with this truck and the way I want to behave, the way I want it to behave and the way I want it to drive. I think having that cage will be kind of, will look cool, but at the same time, um, obviously help protect the body and help protect the truck too shocks i think are coming too um i definitely got to change the oils i've got to thicken it up a little bit again for what i want i'm not looking for a high speed handling truck in that case yeah i'd want you know probably stock oil but because i want to be able to jump this thing i want to have that you know that little bit of thicker oil for when i'm landing and stuff but anyways guys thanks a lot for watching um i'm not going to bother doing the pinion you guys have all changed pinions before it's not a big deal 
Um, but I am going to do that probably before I run it. And I almost was going to do the back wheelie wheels, like the Traxxas blue ones, but then I actually ended up calling back the, the hobby store and canceling them because like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the T-Bone racing setup in the back. But uh, anyways, guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully the weather, we're waiting for our ground now to more or less thaw and dry up because we had so much snow this year that the ground is still a mess. But, um, and I don't want to just take this out in front of my house and take a video of that because that can be pretty boring. But it's definitely coming, guys. And thanks a lot for watching. Have a good night.